one of the most hateful videos I've seen in a long time. Let me show you the part that I'm talking about in particular. That content was created by furries. There are fursuiters out there that are fucking puppies with baseball bats and decapitating them and fucking their heads. There are people out there banging the corpses of deers in the fucking woods. There are people that share erotica when it relates to molesting puppy dogs and screwing roadkill. There is an actual section of the furry fandom that is into that shit. No, there's, there's no section for that. One of the most horrible hate-filled videos he's ever seen. Furries don't do that, Jim. Furries are good boys. They're an innocent fandom. How dare you paint them with a broad brush? What you said about our boy, Kiro the Wolf, or as I like to call him, Kiro the Innocent, Saint Kiro of Puppydom. Stop slandering his sterling fucking reputation. You're leading a hate mob. Don't you understand the effect that you're having on our poor pupper Kiro? He's gonna kill himself. He's getting hate mail. I've been receiving death threats every single day. I seen a photo that someone posted of a sword and they said they can't wait to chop my head off with it. So I'm honestly scarred, freaked out. I've been having anxiety attack after anxiety attack. I, I went into a really dark place when this first happened and I almost did something that would have hurt me a lot. Why must you fursecute him, you cyber bullies? Remember, if the fursuit don't fit, you must acquit. He did not fuck those puppers. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with what's going on, last week, Kiro and a group of his friends had conversations on a social media service they used that was leaked out to the internet. And there was some really heinous, reprehensible shit that was in there. And Kiro's response was to claim complete innocence. It's fabricated. It's faked. None of this is real. I was hacked by Iranian super ha He actually said that. He said that he was hacked by Iranian super hackers that were targeting furries. That was his response to what was going on. Now, in my video, I was totally fair. I played it down the middle. I even included that retarded excuse. And I even finished that video up by saying, give it just a little bit of time. Just a tiny amount of time to find out whether this is true or not, because eventually the truth will come out. So it's been about a week. Where does that leave Caro and the zoo crew? Were they really the victims of Iranian super hackers at the forefront of the new online persecution movement? Or are they as guilty as sin as they appear to be? Now, I'd like to state that there is some compelling and damning evidence that exists out there. People have been going all CSI and doing forensic analysis on videos and images and chat logs. They've been comparing locations and dog breeds. And if I could include that, I, I think it'd be pretty cut and dry, but I can't. I can't show it to you, and I can't even link it to you. Google would never allow it. It's, it's far too risky to put up. Even if I tried to censor it, it would defeat the purpose of even including it in the first place. But I don't think I need it. I don't think I need to actually even show that to you to prove to you that Kiro is guilty and that he's a lying sack of fucking shit. This is a man that has consistently changed his story, not just in the span of a week, in the span of mere fucking hours. So I'm going to use his own words to prove to you just the kind of person Kiro is. Let's start out with what I think is a fairly compelling piece of evidence. Two videos Kiro did recently two interviews that he gave to two different YouTubers that are separated by the span of mere hours, mere hours from each other. And we're going to compare and contrast statements he gave in each of these. Both of the creators that put these videos up spoke to Kiro. Both of the creators have different takes on what happened. And I just want you to listen to his responses and to the evidence and the ideas that they put forward and compare that to what he was saying a week ago. Again, a week ago, he was completely innocent. These were all fake. It was not real. His accounts were taken over. He was a victim. In the logs, there are pictures of his dog that are not posted anywhere else online. It's possible that a person pretending to be him could have gotten pictures of a dog that looked like his, but because his dog was an Australian Shepherd, German Shepherd mix, and that particular breed has a myriad of different color patterns it can have, the chances of an imposter having a near-identical match to his dog are slim. Along with that, there is a ton of personal information in these logs that, while technically obtainable, would require the absolute most obsessive of stalkers to get. 
There's also the numerous people who got a hold of some of the forwarded messages from the logs and could run an ID check on them, and match it to Kiro's now-deleted Telegram account. I didn't believe these at first, because, to be honest, a lot of them are just badly done. You can't just show me a screenshot where you took two completely innocuous messages and match the IDs and say, See, that proves it. You actually have to show him saying something incriminating that was in the logs. But the one that won me over was Nas Hyena's video about it. Nas Hyena has no reason to lie, and faking the video seems difficult and pointless. But the thing that really gave me that feeling in the pit of my stomach where I knew that these logs were real was actually one of the only things that wouldn't even be that hard to fake. And that is the way that Kiro greets people. I'd only ever spoken to him once before, very briefly, and the first thing he said to me is, Arf Arf had a quick question. So I looked through the logs, and sure enough, you can see that same greeting a few times. And I'm not saying that this is definitive proof of anything. Like I said, this is the easiest thing in the world to fake for anyone who has spoken to Kiro. But I guess it was the moment that everything just kind of clicked. Well, you heard the gay dragon, folks. He had some doubts. He saw some evidence that made him believe that perhaps Kiro was not the most innocent person on the face of the earth. People were matching up the ID numbers of the accounts that were shown in the screenshots with his actual account. Kiro used the same kind of language and greeting with him that he was shown to use in the chat logs. The dog breed was very specific and matched pictures that were shown in the leaks. It seems that he had some reason to actually believe this. Now, let's compare that to the opening of the other video. Let's hear what he says when he's confronted about things that were brought up by the other person. So, first off, sorry for being blunt, have you fucked any animals? I haven't. Not li living or dead? No roadkill or anything? I have never had sex with any animals. Okay. And... Have you uh, ever hurt or killed animals for pleasure? I haven't. You have not? No. Okay. Um, another question a lot of people have asked, and this is a big one that's been going across, is did you actually get hacked? Yes. I did not have sex with that possum. That was a definitive answer. I was totally hacked, bro. It's not like he's going to immediately follow that up and say, oh, by the way, I kind of lied about a few things, and it really wasn't Iranian super hackers. Did you actually get hacked? Yes. Though, I lied about one thing. I was kicked out of my account. At first, when it happened, all I saw was my name changed and before I could take any screenshots of the active sessions, I was booted out of my account. I felt like I needed to prove myself to people because I was getting questions about all this stuff at once. And I was thinking irrationally and I was just freaking out in general. So I thought, well, what if I just found one on the internet? and just post along with it. I should have been upfront and honest with everyone, and that is my fault, and I'm sorry for lying about that part. So were both images that you posted fake, or was one real and... One was real. Um, the one that had the active sessions was fake. That one was found on the internet. Yeah, you remember that? That, that tweet right there, that one, where he showed the... Uh logged in session from Iran. That's the active session Kiro's talking about. That's lie number one. When he told people that uh, he was hacked by Iranians, he completely made it up. He took a picture off the internet and passed it off as something that was happening to him. Sorry to tell you, all you people out there that were rooting for the Middle Easterns, coming in to purify this filth off the internet. There is no coordinated group of super Iranian hackers that is targeting Kiro and his fucking zoo crew. Completely fictional. Pulled it right out of his ass. But what about the logs themselves, Kiro? Were those real? Surely, just because you've lied to us once, because you told us a fib about those goddamn Iranians, I mean, you have to, you have to stay consistent. You have to tell us that the logs are actually fake. Those have been forged. The other big thing that I know a lot of you have been passing around, and believe me, I've seen it in the comments, is... Um, the chat logs that have been passed around all over the internet now. Everybody's seen all the dirty laundry that people are saying you said. Are the chat logs real or are the chat logs fake? Okay, so the chat logs are fake. Oh, thank God. Thank God he didn't say something that was the complete opposite of that. So I confronted Kiro about this and basically told him, Look, I know that these logs are real. 
If you keep denying that, people are eventually going to find out the truth, and this entire thing is going to start all over. And then, Kiro agreed with me and told me that yes, the logs are his. He had those conversations, and he does have an interest in some aspects of Zophelia. He also claims that some of the forwarded messages are being taken out of context, but that's something that you guys are going to have to decide is valid on your own. But back to my main point. Yes, the logs are real. Now, before you pick up your torches and pitchforks, let's talk about what that actually means. Yes, Kiro does have an interest in animals sexually, and he and Snake shared with each other some pornographic pictures of them. Oh, so wait a second. He actually did have those conversations. Those logs weren't completely faked, were they, Kiro? And when you tell people those chat logs are fake, what you mean is maybe sort of kinda, huh? I didn't say a lot of those things, but I will say a long time ago I was part of this group. It was for people who had had an interest in feral artwork, you know. And this place had safer work and not safer work. And I met this guy in there called Nalazar. And at the time, we just chatted back and forth because we had the same interest in artwork. And eventually, over time, I just stopped talking to him because it kind of freaked me out how many questions he was asking about the actual act of zoophilia and everything. And I told him that I would never hurt any animals, and I just don't feel comfortable with it. So I eventually just dropped it and stopped talking to him. And now that this popped up, I now realize his name is Snake Thing and he went by the name of Nalazar. God, where have I heard that name before? Oh yeah, in the other guy's video, when he went to talk to him about you. I was also able to get a hold of Snake Thing, the other person in the logs, through a mutual friend, and what he said matches up with this. The content that was exchanged between me and Kiro mostly consisted of a few random tidbits of stuff we'd find together online. I cannot confirm, though I doubt he has done anything, whether or not he has actively participated in anything because I have personally never seen it. It may have been flaunted at times, but I do severely doubt he's done anything like that. We rolled with a fantasy at times. You know, so just it was fake, but it was real, but it was fake, but it was real, but here's this guy confirming that it was real. Literally... Everything in the chat logs that was posted, 95% of that I did not say. So there, some of it was. Some, but... some of it is true. I talked to Nalazar. I told him fantasies about art uh, and different stuff like that. We just had that bro talk, per se, you know, like locker room chat. Right. People... This was locker room talk. No, I, I'm sorry, Kiro. You're not Donald Trump. You don't get to slip that one under the radar and act like talking about fucking bitches and being famous getting you pussy is comparable to fucking decapitated puppies. That's not a tomato, tomato, potato, potato kind of thing. Do we really even need to go into the logs themselves? I mean, I talked about them in the first video. The conversations he has about fingering dogs' throats and asses. The conversation he had with Snake Thing about molesting his own dog and possibly hurting it. But no, no, no. He drew the line at artwork, guys. You don't understand. That's all just fantasy. So the one thing is, according to Nelazar, you have a soft interest in zoo. Is that true? <sighs> okay, so... I have an interest in the artwork. I thought the artwork was always fascinating, and that's really where I drew the line. Totally just made it up, bro. Just going with the flow. You know, those typical conversations you have, that locker room talk on Skype and on Discord, about finger-fucking puppies and screwing deer carcasses in the woods. I think every guy's been through that phase in their life. You want to know what's actual fiction, Kiro? You're fucking innocence. Every single thing that you've said over the last week contradicts itself, and every time somebody presents new evidence, you have to adjust your story to try to make it fit. Here you are giving two different interviews, giving two different stories. You tell one guy, yep, it's all legit. You tell the other guy, no, most of it's not legit. You tell people you're hacked, you're not hacked. You tell them it was faked logs. Well, some are real, or maybe all are real, but they're not all fake now, are they? That's changed. I mean, fuck, even the furries that were defending you couldn't figure out what the fuck was going on. Why are you retweeting this guy's video, 
but then doing another video and telling him, no, it's actually different than what I told him. So much to the point where he had to go public and say he had a copy of your conversation with him and he was willing to release it. Which, of course, once again cornered you into updating your bullshit story and putting forward this fucking gem. Oh, I need a mental health day. You guys need to listen to both sides of the story. You don't get it. Read between the lines. I can't give a clear and concise public fucking statement. Hey, I wonder what your clear and concise statement's going to be next week after this guy gets done with you. This is one of those CSI motherfuckers that's been comparing pictures and videos of dogs being molested to your dog and locations where those animals are being assaulted to your garage. Real interesting timing, by the way, Kiro, that the moment that he starts to post his evidence, you go and start deleting shit. Really makes you wonder what's going on, huh? Almost makes you look like you're maybe a little fucking guilty. And you just can't stop yourself from fucking lying, can you? You put out one bullshit story, and you're proven to be a fucking fraud almost immediately. Hey, Kiro, will you be at Wapafa, and will Yami the Wolf? Uh, I don't know who Yami the Wolf is, but I will not be going to Wapafa because of death threats made against me. Oh no, I won't be attending, guys. I won't be attending because of the death threats. It's too risky for me to go. How about the organizers of the events don't want you there? How about they don't want you to show up with your reputation of hurting animals and getting off to animals being abused? Maybe that's why you're not going. Maybe it has fuck all to do with death threats. But I'm sure you're going to be just fine. I'm sure the police officers are going to love sitting down and sorting through this with you in person. Oh, because there is a police investigation. And not that bullshit one that was talked about on the day this broke where people were trying to say, no, Kira went and talked to the police, everything's good. I mean, actual officers sitting your weird little ass down and talking about you fucking dogs to death. Questions for Kira the Wolf. Is there any specific update on the police investigation into the controversy? Mm, I can't give away much, but I did give a statement and it's currently being investigated. I am in contact with the police, and we're figuring this out. Everything's looking A-OK. -okay. Bright and sunny days ahead for Kiro and the Zoo Crew. And I haven't forgotten about the Zoo Crew either. They've got their own dedicated video coming up, because if you thought the shit he was into was bad, you have fucking seen nothing yet. And I'd just like to close this video out addressing the furries that are still defending this retard. If this had been dropped when it first was leaked, you'd still be believing the story about Iranian super hackers and nothing but faked logs. Yet here we are one week later with him admitting, no, that's bullshit. He wasn't super hacked from Iran. He did know who these people were. He was in groups with them. He acknowledges he talked to them. He had fantasies about animals. He's already gotten wishy-washy on the details. What do you think's going to happen a week from now? I told you, give it a little bit of time and the truth would come out. What's the truth looking like now? Especially compared to what it looked like when it first broke. If you think you're protecting your fandom by defending this guy, you're doing the exact opposite. He's a sick, fucked up individual, part of a group of sick, fucked up individuals. And it is not the hill you want to die on. Because right now, as we speak, there is a group of autistic individuals out there they will uncover every minute detail and drag it into the disinfecting light of day where there will be no escape from it. That damn Kiwi Farms. 